Capcom may be ready to unveil two previously unannounced games at December's annual Jump Festa in Japan. There will apparently be four different Capcom games on show, two of which we know about while the other two are currently shrouded in mystery. These rumors come courtesy of Ryokuya 2089 whose track record on matters like this is solid, so we consider his sources to be reliable. He reports that the two previously announced games we're confirmed to see are Monster Hunter World, Iceborne and Mega Man Zero slash ZX Legacy Collection. As for the mystery games we can only speculate, but we very much believe one will be the Resident Evil 3 remake. Rumors of this game's existence have been doing the rounds, from reliable sources, online for two weeks now. The leaks happened earlier than Capcom would have liked, so we expect they'll be keen to seize control of that narrative. They were originally hoping their marketing efforts could be centered around Project Resistance, at least until they were ready to reveal the Resident Evil 3 remake at some point in the future. The fourth game is a bit tougher to predict, we think it's unlikely to be another remake, despite the noise around a Dino Crisis and an Emusha remake getting steadily louder. Capcom could even announce a remake of Resident Evil, Code Veronica as part of their remake slate going forward. The company have said they are now considering more remake after the success of Resident Evil 2 and subsequent demand for Resident Evil 3. Sticking with Razy for a moment it could be a tease for Resident Evil 8. Something we know the company is working on but have remained tight-lipped about since those early reports. However, this may be more of an E3 reveal. We don't think Capcom will want to promote three different Resident Evil games at once while they are in development. But you never know. Maybe it's deep down? Remember that? Could Capcom be reintroducing that game as a PS5 title? Since its reveal during the run-up to the PS4S release, the game has been in development hell for nearly an entire console generation. Although Capcom have never said it's been cancelled so hope endures. Capcom recently announced a new Devil May Cry collection in Japan, so that could be getting a Western release window. But that hardly counts as unannounced in our book. It could be a new IP entirely. We're very much looking forward to seeing what it is.